Hi everybody, it's me, Sailor Moon, and today we're going to do a review on WrestleMania 31. The first, I'm going to review the two WrestleMania kickoff shows, uh, matches, my mistake. And first it was Tyson Kidd and Tony, it, first it was Tyson Kidd and Tony, it was first The New Day, Kobe Keystone and Biggie Langston, with Xavier Woods in their corner with the low Matadors, with El Torito in their corner, with Jimmy and Jay Uso, with Naomi in their corner, versing Tyson Cantonio Cesaro with Natalia Neihart in their corner, for a WWE Tag Team Championship. Really good match, actually. Really good tag team match. There was a lot of the tag teams, basically, were uh, in and out fighting against each other. You know? And there was a lot of there was a lot of action between all the tag teams. Well, I can't go into detail and explain exactly everything, but it was a good match. And Tyson Kidd and Antonio Cesaro defeat the New Day, Kobe Keystone and Biggie Langston, Lal Manadorius, Doris, and Jimmy and Jay Uso retain the WWE Tag Team Championship. The second match was the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And there were a lot of wrestlers in it, and there were a lot of eliminations at different times. And at the end, it was won by the Big Show. And I felt that was really good. I mean, for many years, the Big Show was awfully compared to Andre the Giant, both in size and also in wrestling ability. You know, and when he was in WCW, they storyline built him up to be Andre the Giant's son. But in reality, he wasn't. So that was really good. Then it was the WrestleMania match itself with the Intercontinental Championship uh, ladder match, consisting of Daniel Bryan bursting bad new with bad new with R Truth, Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust, and Daniel Bryan bursting bad news Barrett. And there were a lot of good. There were a lot of times where they used the ladder as a weapon. There were a lot of times where each one stopped each one from coming, trying to get up the ladder, pushing each other down, knocking each other down. And at the end, Daniel Bryan wins the WWE Intercolumn Championship, defeating the following Bad News Barrett, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, and Stardust. I forgot to mention him. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention him, sorry. The next match was Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Really good match. Randy Orton and Seth Rollins did very well in this match. I really did enjoy this match. I, I felt they worked very well together, and Randy Orton defeats Seth Rollins. Then it was Sting versus Triple H. Now, this match was really good. There were, you know, a lot of times where everybody thought Sting had Triple H's number. Triple H had Sting's number. There was a lot of you know, back and forth for, uh, fight between each other. And then, I'm really surprised, the Generation X shows up, uh, consisting of Shawn Michaels, X-Pac, Road Dogg, and Billy Gunn, the New World Order, consisting of Hulk Hogan, Skull Home, Kevin Ash, Enzen Sting used the baseball bat, Triple H used his sledgehammer, but at the end, Triple H defeated Sting, and I liked at the end how both Triple H and Sting both shook hands at the end of the match. Then after that, you had AJ Lee and Paige take on Nikki and Brie Bella, the Bella Twins. And it was a really good match. I mean, AJ Lee and Paige worked very well together. I did enjoy this match. Nikki and Brie Bella worked very well together, too. It was a good match. At the end, AJ Lee and Paige defeat Nikki and Brie Bella. Then it was John Cena versus Alexander Rusev for the WWE United States Championship. Um, this was a really good match. You know, there were a lot of times in this match where everybody fought that Alexander Rusev had John Cena beat, and John Cena thought he had him beat. A lot of there miss, you know, a lot of that going on. And at the end, John Cena defeats Alexander Rusev and becomes a four-time WWE United States Champion. After that, we had, um, before that, okay, okay. Then we had, we had The Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. 
And this was a really good match. I mean, The Undertaker did a lot of good, a lot of good moves. Bray Wyatt got a lot of his moves in on The Undertaker. And there were times where Bray Wyatt kicked out of the Tombstone Pile Driver. The Undertaker kicked out of Sister Abigail. Both men were trying to put each other away, but at the end, The Undertaker defeats Bray Wyatt. And then you had Brock Lesnar versus, you had Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. And this was a really good match. Mostly Brock Lesnar was doing a lot of the dominating of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns did get some offense in here and there. But mostly was Brock Lesnar beating him up. And then surprise, Seth Rollins shows up, casts his money in the bank, turns it into a triple threat, so then it becomes Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins then defeats both Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Now, there were other segments on the show, too, of course. Maria Manoos interviews Daniel Bryan after he wins the WWE Intercontinental Championship. He is congratulated by Pat Patterson. Rowdy Piper, Bret Hart, Ric Flair, and Jimmy, and uh, Ricky Steamboat. Um, also, there was a confrontation where Triple H and Stephen Mann came out, said that the audience broke the attendance record for WrestleMania 31, and said that it was all because of them that all this was possible. Well, The Rock came out and said that wasn't true, and Stephanie and Triple H said, won't you just leave? Then he brought in a UFC women's fighter, I forget what her name was, and she said that she was going to beat up Stephanie McMahon, threw Triple H around, even gave her an arm bar. So, anyway, the segments were really good. We also had some perform, we also had some musical performances too. Um, so otherwise, WrestleMania 31 was a really good show. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. I'm Sailor Moon Serena and I'll see you tomorrow.